Hey, my name is William and I'm a sophomore here at Columbia University. I'm studying computer science and I'm from Auckland, New Zealand. Outside of the class, I'm involved in music activities such as the orchestra and I'm also in a few finance groups on campus. So at a typical day at Columbia, I usually wake up around 11 or noon and then um, I go to my first classes. So Monday, Wednesday, I have my classes all in the afternoon from um, midday to about 6 p.m. And then on Tuesday, Thursday, if my class is a bit earlier, I start at 10 and then I end at 1 p.m. Um, so usually I have my classes first and then I'll have a bit of food or something and then afterwards it'll be time for my activities. So Tuesday I have orchestra and um, a finance club I'm called Lion Fund. And then um, on Monday I have the meetings for the private equity group and then a lot of the other meetings for the social groups and other clubs that I'm on happen on Sundays. Uh, so that leaves Fridays and Saturdays pretty free for me to go out or do whatever I want, um, catch up on work and stuff like that. Alright, so I'm heading to my first class of the day. It's um, discrete maths in this building over here. Um, so generally discrete maths is just a class involving sets and um, proofs around set theory. Uh, we have this class twice a week. Uh, the lectures are one hour and 15 minutes and then we have homeworks usually uh, once a week. So this class isn't actually a lot of work. It's um, definitely one of my lighter classes this semester. I'd probably say I spend around like three hours a week um, on the homeworks and that's basically all the work that I need to do for this class. So academics at Columbia, what is the culture like here? Um, so everyone jokes that there's kind of like a really big stress culture around campus. Um, I feel like there definitely is um, some kind of stress just because people here are so high achieving, like everyone's really trying their best to like get the best grades and get the best jobs. Right. But I feel like um, there's kind of a really strong like student community here as well to like kind of support you with that. So it's not like cutthroat, people aren't competing against each other, they're just like everyone's trying their best. Yeah, um, because the classes here are like honestly like pretty hard and people try to like overload themselves with work. Not to like compete against each other, just because they want to try and challenge themselves right. and um, a lot of the time you get this kind of like stress build up from that. I see. So in terms of classes, Columbia's kind of famous for its common core, is that right? Is that what yeah. it's called? Yeah, um, the core curriculum. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, that kind of involves two main classes, I'd say. Um, so in freshman year, you do uh, Literature Humanities, which um, they describe it as like masterpieces of Western literature. So okay. you go all the way back to like Homer, back to ancient Greece, and then you read 40 books throughout the years until you get to, you know, 20th century with Virginia Woolf. In second year, which is the class that I'm doing right now, it's called yeah. Contemporary Civilization and that's our masterpieces of Western li uh, philosophy. So instead of reading literature, we read uh, philosophy books. You know, same time period, we start with Plato, Aristotle, that's like 400 BC, all the way up until you know, 20th century. Jeez. Yeah. And that's just one of the classes. How many classes do you usually take a semester? So um, students usually take between four or five. Um, historically, I've taken five classes a semester. Um, the workload, I'd say, is um, definitely quite a lot. Um, but you always, you know, you're in New York, you always find like time to like make free time and um, right. yeah, chill out if you're like stressed. And um, so in terms of the computer science major, um, what do you have to, I guess, achieve in order to get the degree? Yeah, so um, here we have concentrations, which are basically minors and then the major itself. So the computer science major, we have the computer science core, which is seven classes. And then if you finish the computer science core, then you can get a concentration in computer science. Um, and then the major, you choose one of um, four tracks to um, concentrate like further on. So the track that I'm planning to go down is intelligent systems. So I'll be taking classes like uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, um, natural language processing, and um, higher level classes like that. Um, for the computer science core, which is the classes that I'm doing right now, right. it's things like you know advanced programming, discrete maths, um, and like intro to Java or Python or whatever you language you want. Over here we have Pupin, 
which is the physics building and there's like an observatory on top of there which actually works and um, students can use it um, with permission to like do their astronomy projects and then on the other side we have the other like physics or engineering building it's called MUD and that's where they um, tested the first prototype of the Manhattan Project uh, back in 1943 or 42 or whatever it was and um, actually there's still the original uranium reactor like down underground somewhere it's in the tunnel somewhere um, you can probably access it it's probably you're probably not allowed to access it but you can probably still go there and um, see the original uranium reactor so that's pretty cool nice bit of history here on campus So where are we now? So um, this is actually Riverside Park. It's um, to the west of Columbia's campus. It's a probably you know a five minute walk from the center of campus. So it's actually very close to um, where people do most of their work. And so a lot of people come here to um, exercise or just to you know relax and take a like nice walk to de-stress along the park. So what are extracurriculars like at Columbia? Um, so there are actually a lot of clubs at Columbia. Um, there are clubs for like any, almost any like activity that you can think of. We even have like a butcher's club, like a cooking club. Wait, or, a butcher's club? Yeah, like. What do they do? I'm not really sure. We, like, I guess they just like get together and like discuss meat or whatever they're into. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they're not like butchering things. I don't think so, yeah. But like there are also like wild ones. Like you just have the normal like pre-professional yeah. and then music ones. Then you have like, like BDSM club and like whatever the like niche interests are. So what clubs are you a part of? Um, so I'm actually in quite a few clubs. Um, I'm in three finance clubs. So I'm in Lion Fund, which is like an investment fund here. Um, I'm also in the Columbia Private Equity Group and then the Columbia China Law and Business Association. Great. So those are my pre-professional clubs. And then music wise, I'm in um, the Columbia University Orchestra, which is actually conducted by someone who they got up from Juilliard. So okay. he comes up once every Tuesday to conduct us. And um, I'm also in Columbia Pops, which is like a student-run orchestra that does like non-classical music, so like movie soundtracks, TV shows, okay. um, anime, things like that. So, how do you balance your extracurriculars and your academics, or do um, they sort of go together? I feel like, um, especially for me, my extracurriculars like don't really tie in with my academics. They kind of just like are a way for me to express my other interests apart from academics. And so, in that way, it's kind of like a cool down time from all the like coding and maths that I do for my classes. Right. So it's nice to kind of get away from that with you know, music and like finance and things like that. Well like, in university compared to high school there's a lot more emphasis placed on extracurriculars as opposed to academics. So Columbia deliberately leaves us time off for um, clubs and extracurriculars. That's kind of one of the reasons why they give us Fridays off. We only have a four day um, academic week. So um, being in New York is one of my favorite parts of being at Columbia. I generally try to get, you know, go downtown or leave campus, like leave far from campus at least once a week. Um, I really enjoy the city because I feel like there's just so much more to do here. Like you can just walk around Manhattan and you can find great places to eat, um, cool like museums or galleries to look at. And you can just like see interesting things happening on the streets as well, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And the whole atmosphere is just very exciting. And it's also nice to like be able to come back to a place like Columbia, which is, even though it's in New York, it's kind of very insulated and yeah. much more slower paced and quiet. And so you kind of have like the choice between if you want some more action, if you're getting bored or stressed, you can go downtown and like get lost in kind of the atmosphere there. And, or if you're just feeling a bit like overwhelmed by the whole like concrete jungle of New York, then you can come back to campus. So um, this is where I live. It's um, about a five to 10 minute walk from campus. This is um, sophomore housing, so it's a bit further away than where I lived when I was a freshman.
would you say has been like the most surprising thing about your time at Columbia so far? Well, um, I guess the most surprising thing I have to say is the people here because I kind of expected coming in like a lot of people to be very, you know, motivated, very ambitious, but perhaps not in the like best way. Maybe they'd be like unfriendly or like too concerned with their own goals to like really talk to others or like help others. But I was really presently surprised at that because the people here are all very helpful. They're all willing to like share information and help you along if you have any problems um, at your time here. So that's great. So it's a it's a pretty welcoming community, you would say. Yeah, definitely. I feel like that's kind of hard to find in college, especially you know if you're coming from New Zealand or like um, another country, you're trying to find this new community. But Colombia kind of provided that for me, which is nice. And how has the transition been from New Zealand to the states to New York? Yeah, um, actually. Because, you know, we're both English-speaking countries, there's not too much culture shock, to be honest. Um, cool. The people, you know, like, they behave in similar ways. There's not anything particularly that stood out to me. Maybe apart from tipping, like, the bills usually are higher. Than yeah, you have to tip. Yeah, you're forced to. Um, so what advice would you give to students who are coming from other countries to the States uh, for college? Um, so I'd just say definitely, like, do your research into which college is the best for you. Um, Columbia is very different from any other school that I've heard of um, because they're kind of known for their core curriculum, which no one, no other school really has. So just um, kind of do a lot more research, I'd say, into which kind of school you think is best for you. And it's always nice, you know, if you have the ability to like visit the campuses or talk to people that go there um, because you really want to find a place that suits you for the next four years. That's way more important than like you know, name or brand or anything else. If you like this video and you want to keep learning more about colleges, please subscribe below.